Man United plan 12 man clear out and have six transfer targets in Sir Jim Ratcliffe overhaul. Manchester United's transfer plans are coming together following the appointment of Jason Wilcox as technical director from Southampton. And an overhaul looks set to take place Sir Jim Ratcliffe pointing while stood next to Sir Dave Brailsford Manchester United's implosion against Coventry before scraping into the FA Cup final on penalties underlined the overhaul the squad must undergo. As many as 12 players could leave United this summer as Sir Jim Ratcliffe and his new football operations team set about reviving the fallen club. While financial fair play rules will limit United's spending power this summer, raising funds through player sales will provide more capital to rebuild the ailing squad, one that needs a major upgrade. Every position in the squad is under scrutiny, with newly appointed technical director Jason Wilcox leading the overview, ahead of the anticipated arrival of Dan. Ashworth from Newcastle as United's new director of football. In defence, United could jettison up to four players, Aaron Wan-Bissaka, Raphael Verini, Victor Lindelof and Harry Maguire. Although the England centre-back has shown his enduring value in the enforced absence of so many of his teammates in the same position, championship state of play as race for Premier League and relegation battle go to wire. In midfield, United will look to offload Case Moreau, who has looked a shadow of the player who played with such influence in his debut season and Christian Eriksen. Sofian Amrabat, whose loan deal has been an unmitigated failure, will return to Fiorentina this summer. On the wings, it is a similar story, with United ready to cut their losses on £85 million flop Antony, while homegrown star Marcus Rashford will be sold for the right price. Having lost his way spectacularly this term after last season's career best 30 goal haul, Jaden Sancho, exiled on loan to Borussia Dortmund for the remainder of the season after publicly questioning Ten Hag's authority and refusing to apologize, is also up for sale, while Anthony Marshall, remember him? Is out of contract this summer and will slope out of Old Trafford after nine years of indolence and underachievement. The spine of United's team including Andre Onana, Lisandro Martinez, Kabi Mainu, Bruno Fernandes and Rasmus Hodgland will all remain, while Luke Shaw, Diogo Dalit, Alejandro Garnacho, exciting young defender Willy Quambola and Mason Mount, who has been a permanent fixture in the treatment room in his debut season, also have futures at the club Jaden Sancho. Jaden Sancho is currently on loan with Borussia Dortmund while United could realistically move on half of their squad this summer. It is unrealistic to bring in as many players, so there will be those who stay by default, with Ratcliffe having already reminded United fans of the patience required as he and his newly assembled football team set about. Addressing the carnage of the post-Sir Alex Ferguson era among United's targets are Everton defender Jared Branthwaite, Bayer Leverkusen's defensive duo Edmund Tapsoba and Jeremy Frimpong, as well as Wolves midfielder Joao Gomez and his teammate, winger Pedro Neto, and Borussia Dortmund forward Daniel Malin. This summer is the first phase of the new rebuild at United under Ratcliffe. And it is fans Manchester United transfer news live Thomas Tuchel, very interested, and Ten Hag on trial. All the very latest Man United news, views and transfer updates from the Manchester Evening News. Thomas Tuchel is being linked with the Manchester United job Manchester United progressed to the final of the FA Cup. After a chaotic victory over Coventry City at Wembley on Sunday afternoon. United prevailed 4-2 on penalties after the contest had finished level at 3-3 after 120 minutes. The Reds had led 3-0 but squandered that advantage in the latter stages, meaning the game was forced into extra time. 
Coventry thought they had won it with the virtually the last kick of extra time through substitute Victor Torp, only for VAR to spot an offside in the build-up. That forced the contest to a penalty shootout and United got the job done. Despite missing their first effort through Case Moreau, United's reward is a showdown with Manchester City in next month's final. First, though, attention switches to finishing the Premier League season as strongly as possible. But the big talking point is Eric Ten Hag's future and whether he will survive until the summer. United face Sheffield United on Wednesday night and will be desperate to halt their four-game winless league run. They last won in the league against Everton on March 9.10 Hag on trial. Until the end of the season United manager Eric Ten Hag will effectively be on trial over the next month. According to a report by The Telegraph, it is reported that new United technical director Jason Wilcox will conduct an audit of the manager's credentials and dressing room relations. Ahead of the club making a decision on his future ahead of this summer, what do United need to qualify for Europa League? European qualification rules explained following their progression to the FA Cup final, United have two bites of the cherry to try and secure Europa League qualification for next season. Winning the FA Cup would secure their place in the competition, as would a fifth or sixth-placed finish in the Premier League. As United are facing Manchester City in the FA Cup final, the prospect of them losing that game still wouldn't put the brakes on their hopes of securing a spot in Europe's second-best club competition. Mourinho takes swipe at current members of United's dressing room, former manager Jose Mourinho has admitted. There are still players at United that he wanted to offload during his time in M16. Mourinho was sacked as United boss in December 2018, but there are six players who he coached that are still on the club's books. He told The Telegraph, there are still a couple of players still there I didn't want five or six years ago. I think they represent a little bit what I consider not the best professional profile to a club of a certain dimension. But I did my job there. Time always tells the truth. I would love Manchester United to succeed. Tuchel, very interested in United job we brought you a line coming out of. Germany earlier today, claiming United co-owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe has held talks with Bayern Munich head coach Thomas Tuchel. A separate report coming out of Germany now, which is from Bild, as cited by Inside Football, claims Tuchel is very interested in the position. Tuchel is set to leave Bayern at the end of this season after learning his contract will not be extended, Rabiot on United's. Radar ahead of summer transfer window according to a report by Italian news outlet Calcio Mercato. Juventus midfielder Adrian Rabiot is on United's a radar ahead of the summer transfer window. Rabiot was on United's radar two years ago and they attempted to bring him to Old Trafford. However, they could not reach an agreement with him over his wage demands, meaning the